Have you ever contemplated why history seems to repeat itself like an endless cycle? This question, it seems, is as old as time itself. The concept of history repeating itself is a fascinating paradox that has intrigued scholars, philosophers, and historians for centuries. It's like watching a movie on repeat where the plot twists and turns, but the outcome remains eerily similar. What if I told you it's not the events themselves that repeat but the patterns they form? Patterns that weave together a complex tapestry of human behavior, societal norms, and political dynamics. Consider for instance the recurrence of wars throughout history, or the economic recessions that seem to hit us every few decades like clockwork. These aren't isolated incidents but part of a larger pattern, a cycle that seems to perpetuate itself. War, a devastating but recurring theme in our history, seems to be a cycle we can't escape. Throughout the annals of time, humanity has been embroiled in conflicts, in battles, in wars. It's a chilling pattern that remains as constant as the hands of a clock, ticking away relentlessly. Let's delve into some examples. You may recall the Great War, now known as World War I, a global conflict that erupted in the early 20th century. It was a war that was supposed to be the war to end all wars. Yet, barely two decades later, the world was plunged into the abyss of World War II. Both of these cataclysmic events bore striking similarities. The desire for power, territorial disputes, and the pursuit of economic gain. But this pattern isn't exclusive to these two world wars. The Korean War, the Vietnam War, the wars in the Middle East, all these conflicts were born out of similar catalysts. They were all fueled by the quest for power, by territorial disputes, by economic interests. Even today we see the echoes of these conflicts in our modern world, the territorial disputes in the South China Sea, the ongoing conflict in the Middle East, the tensions on the Korean Peninsula, they all mirror the same triggers that have led to warfare throughout history. Now, you might wonder why we keep repeating these patterns. Why, despite the devastating consequences, do we find ourselves in the same predicaments? The answer, as disheartening as it may be, lies in our nature as humans. We are driven by ambition, by greed, by the desire for power. These instincts often cloud our judgment, leading us down familiar and destructive paths. Wars, it seems, are a grim testament to our inability to learn from our past mistakes. They serve as a stark reminder that history, more often than not, has a tendency to repeat itself. And until we truly learn from our history, we are doomed to continue this unending cycle of conflict. From prosperity to poverty the economic cycle is another striking example of history repeating itself. Just as the seasons change, the economy too ebbs and flows in a predictable pattern known as the boom and bust cycle. At its simplest, this cycle involves periods of economic expansion or booms, followed by periods of economic contraction or busts. The boom phase is characterized by a robust economy. Businesses are thriving, employment rates are high and individuals are spending, the market is bullish and optimism abounds. But this prosperity isn't without its problems. As the economy overheats, inflation rises and assets can become overvalued. This sets the stage for the bust phase. The bust phase is marked by economic contraction. Businesses start to struggle, unemployment rises, and consumer spending drops. The market turns bearish, and pessimism pervades. The economy cools down, and inflation slows, but at a cost. The pendulum swings from prosperity to poverty, from boom to bust. This cycle is not a new phenomenon, it's been a recurring theme throughout history. Take for instance the Great Depression of the 1930s, a period of severe economic downturn that followed a decade of unprecedented prosperity, the Roaring Twenties. Fast forward to the 21st century we see a similar pattern with the financial crisis of 2008. A housing market boom fueled by reckless lending practices led to a catastrophic bust, plunging the world into the worst recession since the Great Depression. What's striking about these economic crashes isn't just their severity, but their similarity. Each followed a period of economic growth that was unsustainable. Each was precipitated by a crisis in the financial sector, and each had far-reaching consequences, affecting not just the economy, but society and politics as well. Despite advancements in economic theories and systems, the cycle of boom and bust continues to plague us. It's a stark reminder that, while we can learn from history, we're yet to master the art of preventing its most damaging repetitions. Social movements, the engines of change, seem to follow a cyclical pattern as well. As we trace the thread of history, we find that social movements often arise as responses to societal inequalities and injustices. 
Take for instance the civil rights movement of the mid-20th century. Fueled by a burning desire for equality, it was a reaction to the deeply entrenched racial segregation and discrimination. Fast forward a few decades and we witness a similar movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. Sparked by police brutality and racial disparities, it echoes the calls for justice of its historical predecessor. Despite the temporal gap these movements share a common thread, they are both responses to societal inequality. These are just two examples in an array of social movements that have shaped our world. They highlight the cyclical nature of societal change, a cycle driven by the quest for justice and equality. As long as there is inequality, there will be movements fighting for change. So, if history is bound to repeat itself, are we doomed to make the same mistakes? Let's ponder this for a moment. We've explored the eternal cycle, the unending cycle, the boom and bust cycle, and the cycle of change. Each of them is a testament to the fact that history, in a way, is a series of recurring events and patterns. But does that mean we're chained to the past? Not quite. If we look closely we'll see that history is not just a record of what's happened, it's a guidebook brimming with lessons. It's a rich tapestry of human triumphs and failures, offering us a chance to learn, to grow, and to do better. By understanding these cycles, we can spot patterns, make better decisions, and ultimately, create a brighter future. While history may repeat itself, it is within our power to learn, grow, and break these cycles. After all, we are the authors of our own history.